What's up guys and welcome to this month's first PC build. So if you are following me on social media, you have probably already seen some pictures of it floating around on Twitter and Instagram and you will have noticed that I have done a lot of custom work to it to get it looking the way I wanted. So the custom work involved a custom PSU shroud and also modifying the case in order to hang the GPU in that vertical position that you have seen. So if you want any tutorials on maybe making custom PSU shrouds or custom GPU backplates, then don't forget to smash that like button and let me know down below. So just before we go ahead and build the PC, let's jump in and take a look at the parts. So first off is the Bit Phoenix Aurora tempered glass case. I went for the white version and I must say that I really love how this case looks. It features tempered glass not only on the front but also on the rear. But don't worry, the rear is blacked out so if you are the type of person who doesn't like to cable manage and make everything look nice in the rear, then you do not have to worry so that is a massive bonus. So next up for the motherboard we went with the new ASUS Z270 Maximus Hero. This board is packed with features and looks absolutely stunning, especially those heat sinks that do of course include RGB lighting. I won't go into much detail on the board as I will be doing a full review shortly. Of course with the new Z270 board we will be utilising the 7700K so I'm definitely looking to see how well it overclocks with this board as previous boards that I have used the 7700K in I have easily achieved 5GHz so let's see how this board performs. So for the graphics card I opted for the ASUS Strix GTX 1070 OC edition as pairing this up with the motherboard and seeing all that RGB sync together will no doubt look amazing and I know this card performs really well as I have tested it in a previous video before and I will leave that link down below. So for the RAM we have 32GB of Crucial Ballistics DDR4 in white to add some accent to the motherboard. This RAM looks absolutely fantastic and performs just as well. As we plan to overclock, of course I will be utilising my trusty Corsair H100i version 2 as I know it will definitely get the job done and keep those temperatures down, especially with the overclock. So for storage we are going all out and I opted to throw in the Samsung 950 Pro M.2 drive for those super fast loading times. This is probably a little bit overkill and I know that these drives are super expensive so if you find it a little bit too expensive you could of course just utilise a normal SSD in here which are running pretty cheap at the minute. So speaking of overkill, the power supply I had to utilise in this build is the Be Quiet Dark Power Pro 11. So I know that this 1200 watt power supply is a tad overkill but the only reason that I am utilising it in this build is that the power supply I intended on using wasn't actually functioning properly and had to be RMA'd. Okay so now that I have told you all the parts that I will be utilising, there will be some background music as I go ahead and put this build together so I will see you shortly. <laughs>
overall, I am super happy with how the build went and I am happy that I also went that extra mile and made the custom PSU shroud and also chose to modify the case for the vertical GPU, especially when I am using the ASUS products as all those RGB lights look absolutely stunning. Okay, so for the benchmarks, people have asked me in previous videos if I could go ahead and speak while I'm showing the benchmarks rather than just playing some music and showing numbers. So that's what I'm going to do in this video and you guys can let me know down below what method you prefer and we will use that going forward on the channel. I'm sorry for those of you who do prefer the music but I just wanted to try this out and see how it goes so let's get into it. So just before we kick the benchmarks off, please bear in mind that I have overclocked the CPU to 4.8GHz and the GPU is running in OC mode. So for Firestrike, I ran the Extreme Benchmark and we scored a 7873 with a graphics score of 8334, so not too terrible at all. For Unigen Valley, I went ahead and cranked the quality to Ultra and set the resolution to 2560 by 1440. The benchmark ran very smooth and produced a score of 2378 with an average FPS of 94.4, so again I am super happy with that. But most importantly, how well does it perform while actually gaming? So starting with GTA 5, for the settings again I used a resolution of 2560 by 1440 and cranked everything as high as possible. I set the reflection MSSA to x4 and left the shadows at softer. So as you can see, the benchmark ran without any trouble at all and produced an average FPS of 68.8, .8, which isn't too terrible at all. So next up, it was time to load up Battlefield 1. Again, we used 2560 by 1440, but since Battlefield allows DX12, I went ahead and switched this on and I put the graphics settings to the Ultra preset. One thing worth noting is that the FPS will vary between maps on this game so I tried to choose the lowest to give you guys a better insight and as you can see the FPS averages around the high 70s so definitely another success. So moving on to my favourite game Overwatch. We kept the same resolution and cracked those settings right up to ultra and as expected we easily achieved over the 100 FPS mark. This game isn't overly taxing on your GPU or CPU so it plays well on most systems without much trouble. So last up I went ahead and ran the Metro Redux benchmark and for the settings I used the 2560 by 1440 and set texture filtering at 4x and turned advanced physics off. After running it a few times for the best results we got an average of 96 fps so again this is a very good result. Ok so that pretty much rounds the benchmarks up and as you can see the system performs very well. You could of course go ahead and spend that extra money and upgrade to a GTX 1080 if you wish for many better results but I will leave that one up to you. So as always guys thank you so much for tuning in and I hope that you enjoyed this build and I will definitely be modifying builds going forward. If you guys have any ideas on builds or themes that you would like. Just let me know down below and I will definitely take it into consideration. There will also be my first custom water cooling loop come up so definitely stay tuned for that and if you aren't subscribed make sure to hit that button. As always, thank you so much for tuning in, stay safe, be kind to each other and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.